This next comic may be Bavaria's most famous contribution to the world since the cream pie, the dessert, not the search term on Pornhub. <laughs> Please welcome the hilarious Michael Mittemeyer. Guten Abend, willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. We Germans don't have a good reputation for humor. I flew in two days ago, Montreal, and the taxi driver, he was always talking to me. Hey, what are you doing in Montreal? Hey, uh, I'm working. Uh, what are you working? Hey, uh, I'm performing. What are you performing? I'm a comedian from Germany. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I felt like a Canadian soccer player. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's even worse for me in England. In England, they learn in school. Germans have no sense of humor. For British people, a German comedian is an oxymoron. Yeah, a funny German comedian for them would be like a Russian Human Rights Commission. <laughs> I remember my first gig in English language in London. I was so nervous. I walked on stage and, you know, no, hey, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. When we Germans, when we are scared, we tend to walk like that. It's, no, it's not marching. It's stiff upper leg. British have stiff upper lip. We have stiff upper leg. So I walked on stage, was standing there, hello. I'm a comedian from Deutschland. The first I heard was, go home, Fritz. <laughs> I felt so embarrassed by being called Fritz because my middle name really is Fritz. <laughs> my full name, Michael Fritz Mittermeier. Thank you, Father. It's the most fucked up German name you can have. Named after every Nazi bad guy in those World War II action movies. Huh? <laughs> German DNA is made of five basic elements. Organization, politeness, discipline, efficiency, and punctuality. And it's the same order in sex we have. <laughs> Organization, to your place or to mine. Politeness, lie down, please. <laughs> discipline, be quiet. And then efficiency and punctuality together. I'm coming now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and this organization, discipline, efficiency brought us Germany. We are the economic powerhouse of Europe. And politeness. We help other countries. We saved Greece. Yeah, there are a lot of Greek people here in Canada. After my who paid for you? Um, it's, no, bad joke. They, a lot of Greek people come to me after my shows here in Canada. Thank you, Germany. Oh, you helped us so much. You gave us so much money. What a gift. I would always say, uh, sorry, it's a misunderstanding. Uh, it was not a present. We bought Greece. <laughs> You're mine now. Can you please mop up the floor? Yes. No, come on. We bought Greece. And it turns out it was a lot cheaper than our traditional approaches in the 40s. I've, um, oh. <laughs> yeah. We complained about America doing deals with Saudi Arabia, but the German government sold 200 tanks to Saudi Arabia. The sheikhs, they bought them for their wives. Yeah, it's for them like a steel burger. Um, there are many women there. They used to see the outside world through a slit. So... <laughs> hey, come on! That's a very politically correct joke. It's a feminist joke. Because in Saudi Arabia, a woman is not allowed to drive a car on her own. But in a tank, who would stop her? Yeah. Every Germans, we always try to be politically correct. This correctness, it flows in our veins. It's a problem for me as a 
comedian because, you know, as a comedian, I try to make people laugh. But as a German, I always try to give a correct answer. It's a tricky combination. <laughs> a few months ago, I flew to New York, performing there. I was landing, Jeff K was standing at immigration. By the way, never try to be funny at US immigration. <laughs> I was standing there, suddenly two customs officers took me aside. Sorry, sir, sir, you're using drugs, sir, you have drugs on you, sir. Uh, nein, mein Herr, uh, sir, I don't, I don't have, you have drugs. Uh, you're using drugs, I can tell by your eyes. Look at your eyes. My correct answer was, I cannot look at my eyes. <laughs> I would have to take them out, turn them around, and then look into two empty holes. <laughs> he didn't get it. You're using drugs, I can tell by your eyes. Your pupils are small, you use cocaine. I should have just said no. <laughs> but technically correct, I told him, sir, cocaine makes the pupils bigger. Only if you smoke pot, the pupils get small. <laughs> he was not amused. Who do you think you are? I'm a comedian. Then why am I not laughing? I'm from Germany. That was a good one. Good enough. Thank you, sir.